Hi everyone, you're all right? So we should be on our holidays, but we're not. So I'm making something, I was gonna say exotic. It's not really exotic. I'm making something nice for tea. Amelia's making brownies. She's trashing the kitchen. So I'm gonna make Spanish paprika chicken. It's a chicken stew really, but it's nice. Fry a chopped onion in some olive oil. I've got this, it just happens to be Spanish olive oil from the Costa, de, Costa del Monte, wherever that is. You need some chorizo sausage. This is just out of Aldi. And we're gonna chop up half of it. Chop it into pieces and add those to your frying onions. Pop in a teaspoon of paprika, or a tablespoon of tomato puree. of garlic, crushed or grated. Now I've chopped two peppers and one courgette, they go into the pan. Now we're going with a chicken stock pot, about 200 mils of white wine. Nice that. Do like a Sauvignon. Oyster Bay, Marlborough. Nice. Just 200 mil in the dinner. You have the rest. A tin of plum tomatoes. And a tin of water. Break your tomatoes up just with a fork. Now remember, I've told you before, a plum tomato is better than a crushed tomato or a chopped tomato. A tin of chopped tomatoes is just it's what's left. The plum tomato is better quality, so always go for a tin of plum. And don't buy expensive plum tomatoes. A plum tomato is a plum tomato, whether you've paid 25 pence for it or £1.50. A plum tomato is a plum tomato. Now we want that just to blip away for about half an hour just on a, a low heat. Okay, I've chopped four chicken breasts up and I've chopped them quite small. They all just go straight in. I've rinsed and drained butter beans. Now that's ready, as soon as your chicken's cooked through, it's only gonna take five or 10 minutes and that's it done. Don't forget to wash your hands. You've had raw chicken. Wipe your surfaces, change your board. Don't forget to wash them. Now to go with this, I'm gonna do some little roast potatoes, just little cube ones. I've cut them small, small. Drizzle them with olive oil. A teaspoon of dried chili flakes. A good sprinkle of oregano, about a teaspoon. About half a teaspoon of salt. Give them a good mix up. On a train in the oven. Just as a little side, I'm just gonna do a tomato and onion salad. I've got beef tomato, core it, take the core out. No one likes eating that woody green bit in the middle. And slice some onion thinly. Just mix that up with some olive oil. Drizzle of olive oil. Pinch of salt. Sprinkle of dried oregano. Pop that in a little bowl. So most things Spanish have garlic and paprika in and you couldn't have anything Spanish without alioli. And I just make it by grating a little bit of garlic and just some mayonnaise and mixing it up. That's all you do. Nobody needs to be making mayonnaise from scratch. Chicken's nicely cooked through now. Sprinkle over some chopped parsley. They're all finished. Lovely little tomato and onion salad, Spanish stew, some spicy patatas, and a bit of alioli and a few olives.